was crunching crispy coatings. Welcome back to Monkey Boys Toys, and welcome back to the sofa. Thanks very much for joining me again. Here's Winston Fish to look at. Uh, monkey Boy. <sighs> monkey Boy, yes, Skeletor. What are you doing with that fish there? Uh, I wasn't doing anything, Skeletor. I just just sort of put it there for amusement value. Right, right. Well, Monkey Boy, fish are water creatures. They require to be immersed in their home environment at all times, otherwise they cannot breathe. Winston over here is a freshwater fish. Go and put him in some fresh water immediately. Um, I don't think that's going to help, Skeletor. Why? Well, Winston is fully, fully dead. Oh. Ah. Uh... Right, so shall I just pop you off to the side and you can watch the video? Yes, OK. Right, let me pop you over here. Is that okay? Will you be alright there? Yes, try not to knock me over again this week, monkey boy. I'll do my best, Skeletor. You're not very stable, but but there you go. I am stable. What are you saying about my mental capacity? No, I meant you're, you're a bit wobbly. I'm not wobbly. Right, okay. You alright there? Yes! Okay, let me remove uh, Winston Fish from the shot, and then we'll crack on with today's video. Now, I thought that this week we would take a break from the usual kind of ghost busting and look at a different kind of ghost busting. And it's this. It's the Playmobil Mystery Machine playset uh, from 2014. Now, before we have a look inside the vehicle and, and the accessories, let's just have a look at the outside of the, of the toy. Um, as you can see, we've got the Mystery Machine uh, printed on the side here um, as we go around the vehicle. Um, here's the front, um, some very nice headlights. Um, they don't work, uh, there's no um, working headlights on this vehicle. Uh, we can see the license plate or number plate as we call it in the UK, there. Scooby Snack, great stuff. Um, around to the other side, we've got the same same image on the side there. Um, and around to the back, again, we've got some nice uh, lights here, but these, again, don't work. Um, and the license plate again. Um, so that's a look around the, the sides of the vehicle. Um, the bottom of the vehicle doesn't, doesn't really say much. We've just got some information um, telling us that this was made in 2014. But aside from that, um, the, the underneath the vehicle is very plain. Um, and on the top, we've got the um, the uh, carrying bars on the top. What are they called? Roof bars or whatever on the top. Uh, and a little aerial here. Um, so let's dive into the set. Um, first of all, we, we will have a look at the, the front of the, the vehicle. Now this pops off just like this. This is how you access the cab. Um, and inside we can see I've got Fred driving uh, and Daphne in the passenger seat. Um, we do have two little drinks containers here. Um, for them to hydrate themselves while they're while they're driving along to their next mystery. Um, let's take Fred out of the driver's seat and Daphne out of the passenger seat because um, there is something I want to point out um, before we go any further. Um, you must be very careful when you put the female characters into the seats of the vehicle um, because um, their skirts are not particularly secure. Now, as you can see, the skirt is quite a loose piece. It rides up and down like this. Um, but if you bend their legs um, fully uh, to 90 degrees, watch what happens. The skirts pop off and, uh, and that happens. Monkey boy. Yes, I can see Daphne's knickers. Yeah, I know Skeletor. That's what I was just pointing out. Um, the, the skirts come in two halves like this and they, and they just clip on around the waist um, but but yes if you if you bend the knees um, to 90 degrees um, the skirts do pop off so it's a bit tricky um, fitting them in the in the front of the car you just have to bend their legs up to a, to a certain angle like this and then leave them as you can see that's not fully at 90 degrees um, but it's enough to get her to sit in the car um, and that's and that's great the same thing happens to uh, Velma as well um, but we'll perhaps have a look at her knickers in a little while. Anyway, so there's, there's um, Daphne and Fred. Um, they're quite recognisable as Daphne and Fred uh, from, the, from the cartoon. So they're pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure which characters came with this set. Um, once again, I've done the bare minimum of research. Um, I don't recall if they all came with the set or not. I've got a feeling that um, Scooby and Shaggy um, were available in a different set. But... Um, Maybe I'll put some information up on the screen to say which characters came with this set. Um, I'll have a look at that afterwards and, and pop that information up for you. Um, so yeah, there's the there's the front of the of the cab. Um, as usual on the um, Playmobil toys, um, the steering wheel. If I just turn it around, I don't know if you can see it very well, but the steering wheel um, has a cutout section, um, which needs to be put at the bottom uh, of of the of the steering wheel. Um, otherwise, you can't get the characters' feet in. 
Um, most Playmobil sets uh, feature these types of steering wheels with a cutout at the bottom. Um, so if you have got a Playmobil vehicle and you're struggling to get the character in, um, just turn your steering wheel round so that the cutout section is at the bottom and you'll be able to fit their feet in much easier. Um, so there's the, there's the front of the car, that just, that just clips on um, like so. Um, this is a very robust vehicle, uh, I must say, like, like the majority of Playmobil's toys, this is, this is very well made, um, so that's nice. Um, I appear to have a smudge on the front of my um, bonnet there, I'm not quite sure what that's about, I shall perhaps try to remove that with some kind of product, it's a bit of a shame. Um, but yeah, now there are two other ways, um, no, three other ways to access this vehicle. Um, the top does pop off, like so. Um, I'll do that again in a minute. Um, it, it, um, it, you just pop the, the tabs on the inside and it clips into place. Um, it also does have two rear working doors um, that open fully to the sides to allow you to access the vehicle. Uh, once again, we can see here I've got Velma sort of perched on the ed edge of her seat um, with her hands clipped onto the hand um, the hand rests at the side here. Um, because once again, if I if I bend her legs up fully to 90 degrees. Um, see her skirt pops off and we can see her bum um, and so that's a bit of a I, I don't know if it was a mistake by Playmobil or or quite why, why why that should be the case but it's it's very difficult to oh we can see the copyright Hanna-Barbera on the back here um, yeah it's quite difficult to get these characters to sit um, properly um, so we just clip the, clip the dress on or the skirt back on there um, as you can see inside, Shaggy's looking like he's perched on the edge of the seat as well, um, because otherwise they fall about if you don't clip them into the seat. Um, these seats are removable, um, they do come out, and you can place them in, in various different locations, but, but I've got them, I've got them uh, in this position at the moment. Um, we'll just show you the other door to the, whoops, um, show you the other door to the vehicle, which is at the side here, is a sliding door. Um, this slides open like this, and then you can, you can access um, uh, the interior of the van that way um, and just inside here we can see uh, Scooby peering out hello hello Scooby <laughs> <laughs> hello mate how you doing I'm okay can you take me out please I'll take you out yeah so let's get Scooby and have a look at him actually actually Scooby we'll leave you till last because you're probably the best figure okay we'll stand you over by Skeletor is that all right yes okay is that all right Skeletor yes leave Scooby here right okay let's uh, shut the door back up and um, we'll go around to the back um, and we'll take Shaggy out if, if I can um, and it'll, we'll get a better look at the interior of the car um, here's Shaggy and Velma by the way um, Velma obviously does look like Velma um, she's quite easily identifiable Shaggy I feel is the weakest of the characters although his his um, his clothes are right and he's got his little goatee beard there if you can see um, I'm not sure they quite got the hair right um, I think his hair should be a little bit maybe a bit different to that I'm, I'm, I'm not sure there's just something that doesn't quite seem right about his hair so for me Shaggy is the least um, obvious one I mean if we put them all together like this we can see definitely that that's the that's the mystery machine gang um, but you put put Shaggy there and he's he's um just not quite right somehow anyway pop those off to the side if we look into the back of the vehicle there's not much to see um, right at the back there are some seats let's try and get some more light on the situation I'll open the side door there you go um, Let's pop the top off as well while I'm at it. There you go. Um, so there's some there's three seats at the back here. No, there's only two. Um, or well, towards the front of the vehicle, there's three seats. Wrong again. Um, and there are two at the side here. Oh, well done. Uh, now there is an instrument display here. Um, there is a there is a blue um, sort of thing here. I don't know. I mean, it's some sort of gun, but I'm not quite sure what that's for. Um, I don't remember there being a a gun. Uh, used in the cartoon series but there is a, a gun here that can be held um, by the characters uh, not quite sure what that's about let's um, just quickly pop that back in um, now there is, there is a light feature on this vehicle I can't get the gun back in there we go uh, there is a light feature and it's in this um, this section at the top here which does actually pull out so for the purposes of the video I'll, I'll pull this out and show you um, it's a bit of a puzzle why they included this feature because when this unit is fixed into the car it's very difficult to to actually see it um, but it has two um, or three lights in it it's got two lights here that flash in this manner they do that not quite sure what that's about um, 
and then the bo button underneath um, illuminates this panel here, um, which is actually, um, if I just get the, the little bag of accessories here and have a look, hold on. Um, this, this light here at the side um, is like an information screen um, and with the set you get these uh, little slides. Now, I don't know if you can see that very well, if the camera can focus, um, but you get little slides like this. There's another one here um, and this one has got some information about the ghost on it. It's not actually information, you, you can't read it, um, it's just a, just a pretend slide. Um, but what you do is you then slide that into the, the front of the um, screen there and it sort of illuminates it in, in a similar way to how you would um, pop an x-ray onto a screen and have it shown. Now this isn't particularly effective, you can't see the design um, when the light is on. Um, so it's it's a bit of a, a bit of a silly addition really. Um, I'm not sure what play value that actually has. Um, but yeah, so it's got that that um, that little feature. Um, while I'm discussing the accessories, uh, I'll just bring in some of the accessories that I got uh, when I bought this. Now I didn't buy this set new, um, so I'm not sure which completely which of these accessories did come with the with the vehicle. Um, but we get like a, a magnifying glass here. Um, there's a flashlight, um, a burger. I'm not sure if the burger came with came with this set or not. Um, obviously, we know one came with the the Slimer hot dog stand. Um, speaking of which, I've, there's a uh, there's a hot dog here as well, somewhere. Here it is. Here's the hot dog. Um, so there are various uh, little accessories that come with this set. Um, there's a camera here, uh, or some kind of some kind of device anyway that the characters can hold something that a bit bit like a information screen um here's the camera um this is a this is uh this can be put around their wrist or or um or held in the hand so various bits and pieces there's a couple of nice um bags of scooby snacks here um which uh which are quite fun um so the characters can can take scooby's lunch with them when they're when they're hunting ghosts um, it, and it comes, I, I believe, with this container, um, which houses your slides, like so. Um, there's a few of those. We've got another one here with um, a, with a Scooby on it. If I can show it the right way around, there's one with Scooby on it. Um, so yeah. I believe it also comes with this orange tray. Now I don't know if that's just to keep everything in or or what. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Um, let's have a look. Uh, oh, there's a there's a map here. A map showing, I guess, the location of some stuff. Um, but let's move all that to the side um, and let's just have a look at Scooby. Yes, look at me. Right here, so here's Scooby. This is a really nice figure actually. Um, the the front legs articulate uh, separately as do the back legs, um, so you can get him in some good running poses or whatever. Um, he also comes with this um, stand um, that you can sort of clip his back feet onto and then you can have him in a in a pose where he's he's standing up. Um, whoops, I'm bumping the camera everywhere. Um, it doesn't work particularly well, but um, but it does keep him upright um, and you can have him having sort of reaching up there. Um, also his head moves up and down so you can have him looking up down at the floor at clues, sniffing for clues or looking up. Um, and his mouth does open and close. Um, so you can have him with a, a closed, thoughtful mouth. <laughs> or slightly more <laughs> mouth. Um, or likes. <laughs> so, yeah. So cool. Um, but I don't think uh, Scooby actually comes with this set. Like I said, I'll, I, I will put some information up. Um, uh, telling you which which uh, figures come with this set or not, um, but yeah, that's that's basically about it. I think I've waffled on for long enough about this vehicle. So it's the 2014 Playmobil uh, Mystery Machine, and yeah, there it is. What did you think of that Skeletor? Yes, very good, Monkey Boy. Right, so there we go, guys. Thanks very much for watching the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did enjoy it, uh, please do give it a thumbs up and share it with any other crispy coatings you may know um do subscribe to the channel uh if you haven't done so already now subscribe to my channel what skeletal what's that 
and subscribe to my channel. Oh, what a surprise. You've interrupted me with that again. Well, I want people to subscribe to my channel, monkey boy. Well, I know you do, Skeletor. I'll put a link in the description. Is that all right? Yes, be sure that you do. Right, okay. So, guys, um, yeah, thanks very much. Um, please do subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. You've already said that, monkey boy. And leave me a comment uh, and let me know what you thought of this, um, this vehicle. Uh, but until next week, Skeletor and I are going to get the flock out of here. See you later. Bye. Bye.